Good morning. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hi, good morning. We are not meeting at church this morning, so I thought I would go live as well today. You can see the little flowers, lit flowers next to me. I thought I'd pull the computer closer so you could see better. And I was asked to speak up, so I'll turn my volume up and I'll try to keep my voice higher. <laughs> How are you all today? I hope that you're doing well. It is the end of the weekend, the last day of the weekend, and it always feels good to have some days off. Hopefully this is a day off for you, and hopefully you get to meet in church. Um, if not, it's good that we can meet here. So we're doing this, um, going through the book uh, of Psalms, chapter by chapter, day by day. Today's day three, so we're in Psalm three. And um, we're going to read through the Psalm every day, and then we're going to pray through it. So we're learning to turn the word into prayer. And so that is the goal of this whole Psalms endeavor is to pray the word. So hopefully we'll all get good at this. Um, what I'm encouraging you to do every day is yes, amen, agree with me in prayer, but also begin to lift your own voice and to turn, your, um, turn the Psalms into prayers for you as well. So here we go. Psalm 3. It's a short psalm. It's a psalm with a title that we uh, usually don't see, and it says it's a psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son. And Absalom, gosh, rose up against his father, David. And um, that story is in 2 Samuel 2, uh, chapters 15 through 18, if you want to read it. And David's in trouble in this psalm, and so he is crying out to the Lord. And so that will be the nature of what we're reading today. So here we go. Lord, how they are increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help for him in God. Selah, pause and calmly think of that. This is the amplified version, by the way. But you, O oh Lord, you are a shield for me. You're my glory and you're the lifter of my head, he lifts our head up. With my voice, I cry to the Lord and he hears and he answers me out of his holy hill. Selah. I lay down and slept. I wakened again for the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheek, and you have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Selah. Pause and calmly think of this. So that is the reading of Psalm 3. Um, and now we're going to turn this into prayer. So I will just take the words right from the psalm. I'm just using this as a way to increase our prayer life, to increase the effectiveness of our prayer life. So I'm just trying to hopefully give you a tool that will help you when you pray. You know, sometimes we run out of things to know how to pray. And you just turn to a psalm like this, and it, it immediately turns into intercession. So here we go. What a devotion. Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you for Psalm 3. And as we come into it prayerfully right now, we intercede for those who are troubled on every side, Lord. We think of all the people who are leading our country right now, whether they be in a political office, 
or somewhere else, even just in their own business or in a school system. God, we pray for those who feel like they have been hedged in on every side, Lord, with people rising up against them, people rising up against the values that they are upholding. Lord, immediately when I read this, I thought of all of the people who feel attacked in our nation, who are trying to uphold the values that come from this word, your eternal word. And Lord, we just push back the enemy this morning. We push back the enemy from our nation's leaders <clears throat> and for those wherever they be in the posts that they are holding. Every single person matters to you. Every single mother and father matter to you as they try to hold the line, as they do hold the line for their children. Every single grandparent matters to you, Lord. I pray for those who feel attacked, even in their own family, as Absalom was rising up against his own father, David. Father, we come into the midst of families this morning. We support the relationship between father and son. We pray a spiritual blessing upon each person watching this, that their <clears throat> relationships with their sons their relationships with their fathers, their re even their relationships, of course, with their daughters, daughters to fathers, daughters to mothers, mothers to daughters. We pray breakthrough this morning, God. We pray, we pray, we pray breakthrough. We just announce and declare that each person that comes on here is in agreement, and we are in agreement together right now for breakthrough in our households parent to child, no matter the age, no matter if they are living in the household or not. We pray, Father, that there would not be stress, derision, argument, um, misunderstandings any longer that would keep division in the household. And we pray, Father, that you would restore relationships between fathers and sons, especially today, Lord. Um, we've also come to you, Lord Jesus, where they are saying all around us, there is no help for him in God. We, we pray and break against this. We break this lie. We come against this lie that there is always help for us in God. There is always a way of escape, your, your word says. And Lord, so we break through this lie right now in Jesus' name that even would attack our own minds that would say that you would not rescue us, that you would not come to the place that our family needs you desperately, Lord. We pray, Father, right now, we ask God that you would come into our desperate situations, into the lack of communication, into the false communication that has made its way into our family line. And Lord, we pray, Father, for clear communication. We pray breakthrough for clear communication humble communication, communication that hears the other person and does not assert itself first, Lord, knowing that you have our back. God, we pray for the um, control, whether it be parent to child or child to parent, the manipulation, that all of it would stop, that people would come clean. Today, we pray for the coming uh, celebration of Christmas that as families come together, that there will be cleaned up relationships because of you going ahead, clearing the path, causing there to be good communication and forgiveness. Lord, you are our shield. You are the shield for me, the glory and the lifter up of my head. So I just lift my head up on behalf of those who are listening and watching. We lift our, head ups to you, our heads up to you, Lord. And we say, you are our glory. Nothing else is our glory. King Jesus is our glory. You are the lifter of our heads, Lord. Just put our heads in the palms of your hands, Lord. May we gaze up to you. May we see your face, Lord. May you take all discouragement off of us. May you brush off every heavy load off of our shoulders. May you come, Lord, now, Jesus, and become the glory, 
the shield that we need, Lord. May you shield us all about. May you personally be our shield. We look to you, Jesus, and we are radiant. And with our voices, we cry unto you, Lord. We lift up and pray aloud. We lift up our voices to you, God. We, cr we actually cry out to you, Lord, whether we're in the desert, whether we're in the wilderness, whether we're in the promised land, we cry out to you, God. Our voices are lifted up to you, God. We lift up our voices to you. You hear us, Lord. You hear us, Lord. And we praise you, God. We praise you and we lift our voices to you today. And you hear us. You answer us out of your holy hill. You hear us. We confirm, Lord God, what your word says. We come into agreement with your word that says you hear us. You hear us. You answer us. Lord, we come against every lie that says that you don't hear us, that you don't answer us, that you won't answer us. Lord, we know that's not true. You do. Your ears are so attentive to your children. Your mercy is so attentive to your children. Here we are, Lord. Here we are. We cry out to you this morning. Cry out to you. And Lord, we say that you have caused us to have sleep in the night. And you have caused us to wake into a brand new day. You have caused us to live through the night. You have sustained us, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory, Lord, for your sustaining power, your sustaining power to our family, your sustaining power, Lord. Be glorified, Lord. We give you all the glory. We will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves around against us around about. Lord, again, we just pray for a myriad of angels to come to offset the thousands of voices in our communities, locally, in our nation as a whole, and in the globe, Lord, today. We pray that you would silence the voices, the thousands of voices. And God, those voices that are disconnected with you as their father, we pray connection to you as their father, breakthrough that they would no longer have to have accusing voices to the brethren. Thank you, God, that you know what you're doing right now. I just pray for your, your blessing and your covering over the thousands of people who are coming to you today. The harvest is plentiful. The harvest is plentiful. No more will they rise up against you, but they will fall on their knees towards you and yield to you in Jesus' name. Arise, O Lord. Save me, my God. You have struck all of my enemies on the cheek. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. God, everyone that is an enemy of you is also our enemy. And as we follow you, we realize that we will have enemies. We pray, God, that you would protect us from our enemies. We trust you, God. We trust you, God, that you are our shield. You are our protection. And Lord, we realize that as it says in Romans 8, 31, if God is for us, who really can be against us? So, Lord, we recognize we recognize you as the one who is for us today. We pull on the recognition and the understanding that you are for us, that you are not against us. And if you are for us, who really can be against us? Well, it doesn't matter. God, may this be a tenant of our hearts today. May this be something that just secures us, the realization of this securing us, securing our children, securing those we love. If God 
if God is for us, who can be against us? Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. So Lord, as we conclude, I just thank you, Lord, that you've been the one that have given, you are the one that has given us salvation. Salvation belongs to the Lord. You give us salvation, Lord. We trust in the perfect plan of Jesus. We trust in the outworking of the perfect plan of salvation and the gospel of Jesus. And Lord, we pray your blessing. I pray your blessing on your people today. We just trust you, God, that you have blessing upon blessing upon blessing for us today. Let us find and seek you. Let us find, let us seek you and go after that blessing that you have for us today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow, we will be in Psalm 4. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Trust that you'll have a good day. Bye-bye.